Hello folks, welcome to Loop Learnings and this is the last video of inventory management system that we have been working on since a couple of months now and um, I'm very pleased that we have come to this stage where we have actually worked on the database and the database is built on um, SQL Server. We link that to access and then we created uh, the queries and forms and reports at last and we created the report center just in the last video. So I think we have covered the basics. Of course, there's so much that you can do with this. There's a lot that can be done with this further to make it more sophisticated application. You can develop uh, some more reports which are around the cost and profit and loss statements and you know accounting you can build particularly in the application itself. So there's a lot that you can do. There's a lot that you can enhance this application with. Um, but of course, this is the whole objective of showing these uh, demonstrations in the videos is to give you the basic ideas, setting the foundation so you can build your application uh, based on that foundation. So once the foundation is stronger, you'll be able to build the application as better as possible. So I hope this video series, uh, this video series and the videos have given you some sort of idea, um, some basic knowledge, basic information to build and make it more sophisticated application. So I would love to hear out if you have built a inventory management system or some other system based on learning from these videos. Uh, that would be awesome. And um, so yeah, so this is the last video. So uh, in this video, basically, I'm going to demonstrate um, how to wrap up this application, how to lock everything, how to hide everything, and how to have a nice and clean looking, uh, lo not login page, oh, although I wanted to demonstrate login, but I have already done that in a couple of other videos. So if you're interested in, in learning how to have login develop, login mechanism develop, then you can do that, of course, in the um, you can learn from other videos that I have made around uh, that topic. But so we want to have a clean looking environment. We want to hide all of these navigation bars and navigation pane and we just want to have nice clean looking background. So to do that, what we are going to do is first of all, we are going to do a little modification with the dashboard itself. So we're going to do the right click. We'll go to the design view and we'll go to the property sheet of the form and we will say it's a pop-up yes and modal yes. We also want to make a button here that will be used for closing the application, closing so user can click on that button and close the application when they want. So let's copy a button and let's paste it here and oh, uh, let me unclick and then click back. And now we will say uh, close application something like that you can do you can make any color background uh, normally it's red or something but i don't like red so i'll i'll make it white so it's like a differentiation between these buttons and the close button now it's not just button we have to write a few lines of code so we'll uh, give a proper name so btn close and then we'll go to the event tab and we'll click on dot 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 code builder and in here, we'll write a couple of lines of code. So we want to group, we want to throw a error message, not error message, informative message to the user when the user clicks on close application button asking, hey, you are about to close, are you sure to proceed? And if user click on yes, then close the application, otherwise no, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll say dim responds as integer and we'll come here to cmd.peep and we'll say response equals message box and parenthesis open, parenthesis close, but we'll have a message box within those parentheses and we'll say, you are about to close this application. Are you sure to proceed? So it's nice to have this um, sort of message box coming in. Maybe somebody, maybe somebody will click by mistake. So we don't want by mistake the application to be closed, right? And so therefore we build this mechanism. So we'll say if response equals VBS, then 
to cmd.beep not message box well we'll just close the application close database if the user clicks on no then we'll say do nothing and we'll say and if there you go so that's done so it will close the application now if i will open the application will uh, sorry open the uh, not open we'll go to the form view of the dashboard this is how the dashboard looks like now it, you might say this is little you know small dashboard it's okay you can make it wider you can have it taller uh, it's up to you as i said this is based on your needs what exactly you want to uh, cover right how you want to have your dashboard the idea for me was to demonstrate how it should work okay that's basically it now it it's there we have a button as well we do not want this control box we want it to go away because if this button is there then we don't want this and also we want to have a cleaner look right we don't want to show this uh, navigation where the user can see that hey i can see what's that you know double click on that and uh, then just change the structure of the of the form or table or query itself so we don't want that to happen and we want to have a cleaner look uh, more importantly so let's go ahead and do that let me show you first so let's first get rid of this control box and then we will hide things all right so we'll go to the format and in here we have the control box property we'll say no we don't want it so now and by the way we'll select this and we will always keep this towards bottom we want this button to be on the bottom even if user uh, make uh, the dashboard a little wider for their uh, convenience so we want this button to be on the bottom always anyhow we now can go to the form view can see that the control box is gone and this button is always on the bottom how do i know if i double click it will always remain on the bottom all right now we want a background form a form that is in the background and that will give a clean look all right so let's go ahead and build that so let's close this we'll go to create button we'll go to form design and we will then change some properties some housekeeping we'll do so we'll say auto center yes and uh, we will then say record selector no close navigation button no we don't want scroll bars either we want to uh, turn off the control box as well we don't want to have control box and i think that's pretty much it here now we'll go to the other tab we'll say pop up yes model yes now i would like to have a form header and in the form header i would like to change the color of it right so because we have the bluish theme going on so i would like to have this blue color in the back end so if we'll go now let's save it first so we'll call it background okay and um, if i will open why i keep saying open if i'll go to the form view this is how it looks like now i don't want this form to be open like this i, I want this form to be open in full screen mode so how do we do that well it's quite simple so we'll go to the design view and we'll go to the event tab and we'll go to the onload event dot 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 we will open this form in a maximized mode whenever we open this application so that is done with just one teeny tiny line of code do cmd dot maximize that's it <laughs> that's it you thought you will be you'll have to write a uh, hundred line of code to do that no that's just simple one teeny tiny line of code now let's go to the form view and let's see how it looks like there you go that's how i want it that it should open in a full screen mode another thing i want is basically i want the dashboard to open right in front of it right that's what i want so on the background we have this nice clean looking background and then on the top of it we want the dashboard to be open automatically whenever we open the background form the dashboard to be open automatically so how do we do that well again we go to design view and again we write one small line of code just underneath of this line and we'll say do cmd dot open form and we'll say form name is dashboard f i think that's the name okay and that's it that's pretty much it i think that's the name right dashboard f okay now if i'll close this and this is the background now if our code is correct 
the background form will open and we'll see right on the top the dashboard also so let's double click and boom we have a dashboard right on the top and we have this nice clean looking background as well isn't it look nice right <laughs> but does it mean that everything is hidden people can't really access the tables and queries and forms and reports they still can right i can right click here i can go to design view of this form so that's that's actually very wrong so we need to do something else as well so let's go ahead and fix this so we'll close this we'll close this as well and here we are in the access option screen we will click on or navigate to the current database option application title we will give so we'll say loop inventory management something like that you can have your icon as well so you can browse and put your icon application icon uh, the other thing i want at the moment you see here dif display form is always dashboard but i want background form to be open so this means whenever we open the application or user opens the application the background form always appears and we have to turn off some of the things for example we don't want display status bar uh, we want to compact on close that's very very important uh, document tabs we don't want to see um, then also we want to turn off the enable layout view uh, and if we'll scroll down further this is important to turn off this is basically a navigation options these are the this is the navigation screen or pane and we want to turn it off so let's turn it off but i will go further one step beyond and i'll click on navigation option i'll go to the object type and i will uncheck all these object types here okay and then i'll click okay there you go you can see that everything is hidden now everything is gone they are not deleted but access has hidden those objects now i also don't want the full menus or shortcut menus we don't want that to happen we also uh, will turn off the name autocorrect info now i'm not expert i always say that but according to my knowledge according to my experience when i turn this on the applications uh, processing takes a little bit time if you have heavy database you know if you have lots of records to process it takes time for some reason uh, i don't know whether it is this is the reason but this is one of the reason for sure that i know maybe i'm wrong guys please uh, i'm just telling based on my experience in fact the whole series i made based on my own understanding and experience so i might be wrong in some cases and that's okay um but this is what i know that even if you google it and if you say hey uh, google give me the options to uh, you know speed up my database and it will tell you that you have to turn off the autocorrect options there you go okay um that's pretty much it this is what this is the basics 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 we want to turn off and now we will click okay now we'll get some pop-up messages and that's okay because we have done changes um so we'll click okay and there you go you must close and reopen the current database for the specified option to take effect so we'll say yes okay we'll uh, reopen now we'll close the database now and reopen it so i've reopened now and the moment i have reopened um background and dashboard these are the two things uh came up and that's that's about it you know if you right click anywhere i can i'm sure you can hear the beat it is not allowed to have any sort of menu and if you're thinking hey does it really work uh, you know it's everything is gone everything is locked does it work as well yeah let's check it out you can click on anything right product you can double click um on certain things for example suppliers purchase order double click on that it will populate you can click on sales it will open everything will open right view invoice you can see the invoice as well for this um you can run the report center also for example you run these reports you get your printout so you can see it's uh nicely working um there's no problem whatsoever so this is what i want to demonstrate and i think this is beautiful it looks nicer to have clean look of the application you have locked out everything you have um essentially blocked everyone to 
go behind the scenes and change anything. So this is how you can do it. This is the back way. There is uh, there is something else that you can do because some people may know the shortcuts to go behind the scenes. So to avoid that happening, you can have you have to write a bit of code to actually lock out everything. So anyway, that may be in some other video I will demonstrate. This is what I wanted to demonstrate in this video. I hope that it was learning. I hope that you have learned something in this video and in fact in this series. And again, I have to say that whatever I've demonstrated in the series based on my uh, own experience, I may be wrong in some cases. So please do verify with your customers to for whom you are building the application or for yourself. And um, but I can tell you one thing certainly, and that is whatever I've written in terms of code, that is all, you know, that all works. Um, the industry standards may be different, but I think record sets are pretty much industry standards. So anyway, that's about it. Uh, thank you very much for your support. I've gotten a lot of support from you guys from for this series. So thank you so much and really appreciate uh, for watching the content and uh, we'll see what other series we can make and um, I'll come back with some other series or maybe I'll start making some tips and tricks videos which are a little shorter and for a specific uh, subject or topic. That's about it. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.